Welcome to Steve Draws. I'm Steve on the Groot, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to do a review of Paperlike. And Paperlike is a screen protector for your iPad, and it feels like you're drawing on paper. And on the end of this video, I'm going to do a contest so you can win a Paperlike. So stay tuned. This is a sponsored video by Paperlike because the creator of Paperlike contacted me through Twitter and he asked if I would like to do a review or, you know, test out Paperlike. So he sent the Paperlike to me and I first tested it out and then we agreed we would do a sponsored video because I really like the product and it really enhances my uh, way of drawing on my iPad. I've been drawing with the Apple Pencil and my iPad Pro since 2015, but I never used a, a screen protector because I just like to be in touch with what I'm drawing. And I was always afraid, you know, if you use a screen protector that, you know, the sensitivity, the pressure sensitivity of your Apple Pencil wouldn't be the same. Because to me, uh, drawing on the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil is the best digital drawing experience I had. And I also have a 24 inch uh, Wacom Cintiq, but I prefer to draw on my iPad with my Apple Pencil. The advantage of drawing with a Wacom stylus is that you can change the nibs. So I changed it to a felt nib, so I had little bit more uh, friction when I was drawing on uh, my uh, Wacom Cintiq. And the Apple Pencil, you know, just comes with one nib and it's very, it's hard plastic. So when you draw on your iPad Pro, you know, it just feels like skating. Paperlike comes in a sturdy envelope. When I opened it, it comes with two Paperlikes. I soon found out why. It comes with two wet wipes to clean your iPad screen, two dust absorber guide sets, and two dry wipes. Nothing fancy, no branding. It costs 29 euros and 35 dollars, and Paperlike is shipped for free worldwide. There are other screen protectors that are cheaper, but for most of them, you need to pay additional shipping costs. Applying the paper like. I advise you to first watch the video on how to apply the paper like. Just follow the link that's on the instruction, and Jan Sapper will explain in detail how to apply it. I applied my first paper like without watching the video, and this is what happened. That's why the paper like comes with two screen protectors. So I first watched the video and then applied it accordingly. Here's my explanation in a nutshell. You also need a card to remove the bubbles of the screen. Step 1. The paper light comes with two sides. You can read it on the small stickers. Side 1 goes down on your iPad and make sure side 2 is facing up. Step 2. Align the paper light and use the camera and home button to align it. Step 3. Now grab the guide stickers and apply them on the left side. Now align the iPad and the paper like so it's perfectly placed. Then press down the stickers so they stick on the iPad. Then stick them on the table and move your iPad to the left so that the stickers will stick to the back of your iPad. Step 4. Now flip the paper like to the left. Step 5. Get the wet wipes and clean the surface of your iPad screen. Pay special attention to the camera and home button. Now use the dry wipe and make your screen dry. Step 6. Get the dust remover sticker to get all the dust specks off your screen. If you have a dusty room, it's better to apply the paper like in your bathroom while running your shower and close the door so that the steam cannot escape. Another option is to do it in the kitchen. Just cook some water and let the steam fill your kitchen. Use the remover sticker to get rid of all the speck dusts. 
Step 7. Pull off the protection screen which says Site 1 and then place the paper like on your screen. Step 8. Grab your card to remove all the bubbles. Just apply it softly. First get rid of the big bubbles and then the smaller ones. Step 9. Remove side 2 of the protection screen. Now check if you still see some bubbles and grab the dry wipe as a protection and your card to remove the last bubbles. So what does it feel like? With the first line I drew on the paper like I noticed the difference right away. It doesn't feel like drawing on paper with a real pencil, but the surface has a bit of a tooth. That is an analog term when you draw on paper or canvas. Tooth is a structure that you have on watercolor paper and pastel paper. It gives more of a resistance or haptic feedback. For drawing and especially inking on the iPad, it is great to have more resistance and control over your line art. When you draw on the iPad screen with the Apple Pencil or any other digital screen, it feels a lot like you're skating on a surface. But with paper-like, you have some resistance. It is a subtle difference. I've never used any other screen protector, so I couldn't tell the difference. But paper-like feels great. I tested it out for two weeks to see how it would affect my workflow and drawing and painting on the iPad Pro. The pressure sensitivity of the Apple Pencil is the same as you draw with it without a screen protector. Paperlike has a matte screen, so if you work in a lighter environment, you don't get as much reflection. And just listen to this sound. It sounds like drawing with a pencil on paper. But I also noticed a bit of red and green flares when drawing on a white background. That's caused by the subtle structure that's on the paper-like. That bothers me a little bit, but it doesn't outweigh the benefits of the drawing experience. So here are the pros and cons. Pros. Better control over your Apple Pencil. You now have better control when you have to ink your illustrations. Because of the resistance and the haptic feedback, you have better control and can draw more precise and accurately. Lesser glares because of the matte finish. Less grease on your screen, so you don't have to clean your screen as much. Protection against scratches of your iPad screen. Cons. Tiny red and green glares when painting on a white background. Your Apple Pencil nib will wear down faster because of the friction of the paper-like. So I'm really excited about uh, drawing with paper-like and it really enhances my workflow. And now you have a chance to win a paper-like. All you need to do is subscribe to my newsletter, follow me on Twitter and that's at Stave Draws, but I'll leave links in the description box down below. And you need to answer this question. What is the name of the creator of paper-like? DM your answer to my Twitter account and I'll draw a winner next week. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!